Hello, and welcome to Panda Prepress Productions, Episode 1, Bleeds and Margins. In this video, I will teach you proper setting of bleed and margin for file submission to Panda Game Manufacturing, as well as how to properly set up Adobe InDesign to ensure you are working with the correct artboards when working on your components. First, let's talk about bleed. This is by far the most common problem, but also the easiest one to fix and avoid. Bleed, also known as trim, is a printing term that refers to artwork that goes beyond the edge of the die lines for your components. Artwork and background colors are extended into the bleed area. This is how you have black border cards, for example. After trimming, the bleed ensures that no unprinted edges appear on the final trimmed document. All files printed by Panda require at least 3 millimeters of bleed on each side, with the following exceptions of game boards and game boxes, which require 18 millimeters. Next, let's talk about margins. Margin is the area between the main content of a page and then the component edges. Including a margin on your document design helps ensure your content will look centered and no information will be unintentionally cut off during the printing and cutting of the game component. All Panda files require a margin of at least 3mm on all printed components. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up these in InDesign, which Panda highly recommends you use in lieu of Photoshop. We'll set up a card a game board, and then a game box top. First to the card. First go to File, then click New Document. Here we will set the artboard size for InDesign. Use a standard blackjack sized card. So for width, we'll put in 63 millimeters, and then 88 millimeters for height. Next, we'll go down to Margins, and put in three millimeters. Please ensure that it says three millimeters on each side. Very rarely does plan to require more than three millimeters, but three millimeters is always the minimum. This is to ensure your content doesn't risk being cut off or look off center when being cut and assembled. Lastly, you'll click here on bleed and slug to extend this box. Here we will enter the bleed, which for cards is three millimeters. Once you have those entered, click OK. As you see here on this example, you should have created the perfect card template. Here you see the bleed in pink, the trim line in black, and the margin in purple. As long as you keep your bleeds covering the entire bleed space and the card content within the margin line, you'll never have a bleed or margin issue. Next, we'll do a game board and boxes. First, the board, as again, these require 18 millimeters of bleed. So we'll do the exact same steps as we did with the card. So for width, let's put in 100 millimeters. And for height, we'll put in 150 millimeters. For margin, we'll do the three millimeters, same as the card setup. The difference here though, as noted before, will be the bleed. The bleed for game board is 18 millimeters. Click OK. As you'll see here, it's similar to the card, but with a much larger space for bleed. Just like the card example, ensure all color and images of your box background go to the edge of the bleed lines. Next, we'll do a box top example. Let's say the box is 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters by 50 millimeters. So that means each side is going to have a height of 50 millimeters. To build the InDesign template, we're going to add 50 plus 50, which is 100 to each of the box top sides. So 100 plus 100 is 200, and then for the height, 100 plus 200 is 300. Here we will then set the margin at 50 millimeters. This will help denote what is the box top to what the box sides are. And then we'll go down to the bleed and make that 18 millimeters. Click OK. As you see here, we have the pink showing the bleed, 18 millimeters away from the artboard, or the trim line, which is black, and then 50 millimeters in from that, the purple margin line. Once again, the margin here is showing exactly what the box top will be. Outside of this will be the box sides. Feel free to watch this video as many times as needed, and if you'd like a PDF template for any of your files to help show the proper bleeds, trims, and margin lines, Panda would be happy to provide one for you.